Boom today, all you sports fans out there in the two bowl sphere, to you, the individual as part of the collective. Welcome to Fast Track Sports Track College here on talk radio version of the OMSR. I am your brief but concise host, Will the Alternative ESPN Sports Thrill. Always do a little show like this to let you know the clipboard are coming up and the whys and wherefores. You get a significantly longer highlights reel that way. And the quickie sport rant of this segment. Why? That's all due to the fabulous OMSR sponsor being the DMCA. So many thanks to it and all the goodies covered. All the video highlights courtesy to ESPN and the respective universities. Little shout out to the NCAA, everything else. To the OMSR. The wherefore is talking briefly and concisely about that time of year. The OMSR dedicates a lot of time, more so than pretty much. 90% of the sports shows out there on YouTube to the mid-major tournaments and those who win punching their ticket for the big dance. Specifically this episode with Winthrop versus Coastal Carolina. Winthrop, you recall, has been a big dance regular for like a decade now. The ubiquitous 10 to 16 seed for some time now. Now I don't want to ruin it for you, but Things are going to change. Ah, hell, I may as well just come out and tell you. Congrats to Coastal Carolina. Haven't seen them in a long time. Now, those of you in the younger generations, in my generation, early 40-something, so the 50-somethings, late 30-somethings, us Gen Xers, you know, from the early 90s. You know, on an interesting side, though, what's in a generational moniker, right? They start calling us the advent of grunge, grunge music, Generation X. Yet baby boomers are when they were born, and the millennials are when they were born, but Gen X is when we were in our 20s. So, you know, the lines can get blurred there. That being said, those of you younger have gotten used to a lot of these schools you see regularly in the tournament. Now, when it was only a 32-team or school affair in the 80s, and then it doubled, you start seeing these schools like Coastal Carolina, which is my point here, my segue into these quickie sport rants, you never heard of them before. I was like, Coastal Carolina? What? Exactly. So a lot of these mid-major conferences with schools, and a lot of them are back east, now their only chance, here's our, here's our rant to the segment, is to win their tournament. Because there doesn't seem to be enough room at large wise for a lot of bids to be handed out to the school who comes in set or that comes in second in these tournaments. Case of point, Murray State versus Belmont last year. I believe this is the same Murray State started out twenty two and oh but ended up something like twenty four and nine or something like that. They got snubbed, Belmont got to go. It's like that. So congrats to Coastal Carolina. I'm calling in my Florida Gulf Coast this year. I know there's a lot more tournament teams to come or, and teams from schools to see, but they pass the eye test big time. Watch out for them. They're going to make some noise. So second half highlights coming up. Thanks for watching. Those silly DUIs while you're out there. Roll clip. Championship here on ESPN2, live from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It's Coastal Carolina and Winthrop in a battle to see who can make the big dance. And here's how we got here. Winthrop has won its last two games by three total points, while Coastal Carolina defeated Charleston Southern in double overtime. And BMI, the number one seed, holding through the four. And here inside the HTC Center, glad you could join us. Championship week has arrived, and it should be a thriller here along South Carolina's Grand Strand. Alongside of Paul Biancardi, former Horizon League Coach of the Year, Roy Philpott, and Paul, this should be a great one. Everything at stake this season on the line. You've been there. You've done that. What needs to happen here this afternoon? Everyone must trust and take ownership in the game plan while staying focused on the opponent. If you want to cut down the nets, you have to stay connected to the process. Well, they're calling it Myrtle Beach Madness year and with good reason went through a buzzer beater just to get to the semifinals as we take you back to Friday's action the cardiac kids had a prayer answered the quarterfinal win against number one seed high point out of the north it was Andre Smith at the buzzer Andre Smith crunch time performer for the Eagles the shot lifting went through 
to a two-point victory over High Point. The Eagles then follow that one up with a one-point win against UNC Asheville, the number two seed out of the South Division of the Big South. Deron Lane missing the chippy right before the buzzer. Otherwise, it's a different championship game. And plenty of star power in a matchup like this, of course, two very talented teams as we get set to take you one-on-one. -on -one. They say, Paul, that good things tend to come in threes. Well, that's certainly true for Winthrop. They shoot the three-point shot at 40%. That's number one in the Big South and 12th in the nation. Number 10, Keon Moore, is red hot for Winthrop, connecting on nine of 16 threes here in the tournament. They space, they spread, and they knock down shots. For Coastal Carolina, it's all about the big three. Elijah Wilson, Warren Gillis, and Josh Cameron. They have scored 62% of Coastal's points this season. This is a dangerous trifecta. No question about it as we take a look at our starting lineups. The Winthrop Eagles have won five games in a row coming into this championship game. Andre Smith, Keon Johnson, two to watch in the backcourt. Keon Moore, an explosive player as well. And for the Shauna Clears, also at 20 and 12, playing on their home floor. Gillis, Cameron, and Wilson, the big three. Keep an eye down low on Badu Jane, one of the top rebounders. Championship Week presented by Dick's Sporting Goods. It's the Big South Championship on ESPN2 live from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Coastal Carolina, a 10-point lead as we get you ready for the second half. Paul B. and Cardi, former Rising League Coach of the Year, Roy Philpott and Paul. An energetic, fast-paced first half. And Winthrop trying to find a way to convert more from three-point range. Yeah, they shoot 40% from three, number one in the Big South. But so far this afternoon, they're only three for 13. They're getting some wide-open looks and others shooting a little too quick at times. They can't live off the three, but they make eight threes a game, and they have to hit that number if they're going to pull off the upset here. And meanwhile, for Coastal Carolina, Josh Cameron, 12 first half points. He's been very electric. Oh, this guy can score at all three levels. You see the triple. He can get into the lane. He splits the ball screen and finishes. He has a nice little pull-up game. He's hard to guard. Double-A tournament would be one of just 10 coaches in college basketball history to accomplish that feat. And you can sense the importance of this one to him when we talked with him a few hours ago, Paul. Absolutely. Some of the greatest coaches in our game have not been to the tournament once. To bring in four different teams there would be remarkable. Shauna clears now 5 of 12 from the strike. And the lead is back to 12. Roy, it's such a hard thing to get to the NCAA tournament. All the big majors in one big league. And he's waited, worked for this moment the whole life. Vega amongst the trees. No turn it over. Here comes Gillis for Coastal Carolina. Warren Gillis, another strong move to the He's trying to make something happen with his defense. Force a turnover, get a steal. Coastal will prepare. The lead is back to 14. First foul against Tevin Prescott. Approaching 10 minutes to play here in Myrtle Beach. Eagles need some more offense. Johnson can't convert. Coastal so solid on the defensive glass. They don't give you a second look. Jagan inside in a sweet dish. The Coastal Bigs coming to play here in the Big South Championship. Now go against the shots. Josh Cameron picks up his second. Yeah, I don't think Josh Cameron saw that screen or heard it. Got a little frustrated probably with his teammate for not calling it out with the shove. It's been 21 years since Coastal Carolina made it to the NCAA tournament. And they're doing it right now based off that defense behind the arc. And the big three, Gillis, Wilson, and Cameron, 69% of the points for Coastal. They've been doing it all year long. Can they do it for another 10 minutes? Harvard and Eastern Kentucky all 
already in the field of 68. Coastal Carolina trying to make it number three. And Elijah Wilson down low doing his part. Elijah Wilson, 22 in the way, just a freshman, under control. Pulls up on a dime, takes it home. Largest lead of the game for Coastal Carolina. Jerome with the answer and a big shot out of Alexandria, Virginia. It's a whole different mindset as you approach the last eight minutes of the game. Winthrop came in averaging 40% from behind the arc, just 5 of 20 today, and that is the story thus far. Another foul against the Eagles, that'll go against Jerome his second. And Cliff Ellis coach trying to take his fourth different program to the NCAA tournament would be just the 10th coach all time to do it. He was emotional talking about that possibility with us this morning. Think about the programs he, he's done it before at South Alabama, Clemson, Auburn, possibly today at Coastal. It's not the blue bloods of college basketball. First game if they get in. Well, you know at some point it's going to happen. A 16 is going to upset a one. I don't know if it happens this year. But at some point in our lifetimes, you expected it would. Wilson's one for two at the strike, and here comes Johnson for the Eagles. That's the guy Coastal has to contain is Johnson. Jerome approaching four minutes to play. You may see some traps from Winthrop. Maybe the ball goes inside. They're going to have to do something to speed up the possession for the poster. Gillis the up and under with a left hand. Warren Gillis, a sensational Big South tournament. 19 points this afternoon, and the Coastal Carolina lead is 12. And under four, the media timeout. Here goes Gillis. You can't stop that ball. Love the open line on Watch ESPN. That timeout by Pat, Pat Kelsey, he's coaching for next year right now. He's trying to teach his team how to set up a press. Dang, the slam! And Coastal Carolina's headed to the big dance. Paul, have we seen Badu Jang with a potential sports center top 10 type of play? This one right up there with any of the previous ones. Well, this was easy, way above the rim. Look at this in real time. The defense comes back, challenges Jang. Well, Bellis will lead his fourth program to the NCAA tournament, just the 10th coach in college basketball history to do so. And our final score, Coastal Carolina 76, Winthrop 61. The Shana clears their first NCAA tournament appearance since 1993. And let the party begin.